Hello everybody, today I'm going to give you a mini tutorial on my take on a mini scrapbook using um, the toilet rolls. This is the mini toilet roll kit. Um, this is my take on it. Um, I tend to put a hinge system on it rather than the rings that a lot of people use because then when you're looking through it, it lays flat, which I think is easier for the, the um, reader or the person looking through your albums to see. And then also on top of doing the hinge system, I'll also put a binding round it as well. So it just finishes the book off and gives it a bit more of a professional look. To start with, you're going to need four toilet rolls, empty of course, um, and you really need to get them the same brand. Every single brand is different sized, um, so really you're, tr you're better off to get four that are the same brand and make um, for this project. So if you get your toilet rolls to start with, and using your bone folder, push them flat and crease each one as hard as you can so you get a nice crease so it stays nice and flat. So that's the first thing you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need to make this toilet roll mini is a kit from scrapbookingkitsaras.co.uk. Um, these consist of patterned um, paper. This one's the um, Be Amazing uh, My Mind's Eye kit. And it's available on our on the website now at scrapbookingkitsarus.co.uk. And in here you get the cardstock and the pattern double-sided paper. And there's also twine in this one, which will come in very handy to put round the tabs when we finish off the book. So that's what you're going to need for the kit. Now I started off by painting all of the toilet rolls. I've used um, the Distress Stain Picket Fence uh, for this project purely because the, the colour fits in better with the pattern paper but depending on what kit you use you can match up your paint accordingly. If you don't have the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Stains paints the other thing you can use is normal acrylic paint but just dry brush it on, don't put thick coated um, layers on, try and dry brush it on and you only need to cover all around the edges and along the top of each of them because we're going to be sticking paper in the middle so there's no point in clogging up with too much paint and also wasting your paint. So that's the next thing you need to do. Once we've done all that I'm going to go straight in and make the hinge system for the, the mini book. So you're going to use a score pal. Put your paper in. And we're going to make one long strip. And I'm going to come in first of all by um, it's the three notches in. So it's not half an inch, it's the one before the half inch because I've I've got an imperial score pal. Let's go all the way down and burnish that. So I've gone one, two, three in. Then I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch gap. So then we're going to burnish again a quarter of an inch in. So you've got your first line quarter of an inch in and then I'm going to go to the one inch mark. At the one inch mark, that's where I'm going to actually cut the paper. So get your cutting tool or a pair of scissors, whatever you feel most comfortable with, and cut that all the way along. Then with your bone folder again, we're just going to fold these in. give them a nice burnished edge. So then you have a 12 inch strip that looks like this. 
So you've got a quarter of an inch spine and then two side tabs. Now we're going to get some double sided tape and run that along these sides. So I'm just using some easy lift uh, finger tape for this project. So put it along the edges. All the way along. And the same on the other side, but not on the quarter of an inch spine space that you've left in the middle. You're then going to do this also on the other side. piece it's got your two strips are double sided and then your quarter of an inch in the middle okay so you have your piece like that the next thing you're going to need to do is to actually measure your toilet rolls now I can't give you a measurement for this because obviously everybody is going to have different size toilet rolls so my one measures two and three quarters so two and three quarters along, and then just mark off, and then I cut that one. Just make sure it fits in, so it's a little bit too long. So I can just take a piece off the bottom of that. It's the inside measurement that we're actually going to use. And do the same once you've cut one as a template the best thing is to cut the rest off now I do tend to find that you can actually if you're doing a four page toilet roll mini you can get all of your four hinges out of one strip of 12 inch card that you've prepared for this so there you go I've got the four and that piece is a piece of waste, so we'll put that to one side. Now to help these also fit in, what I tend to do is just cut a little angle off each one. It just helps when fitting them that they fit snug and they're easier to, to get in. So just take the time to angle off and to cut your little strips. assemble our hinges. Right, those are my craft nice just to help get that off. Right, what we're going to do is to take one of the inside pieces off. My easy, easy lift finger lift uh, tape isn't quite as easy as they uh, say on the packaging and then I'm going to push it in just so it's level there and then with my bone folder what I tend to do is just give that a bit of a burnish so I know that's stuck down and that's the first one on your hinge system I'm not going to take this piece of tape off yet because when we do the outside cover you'll see how that all comes together. 
So now I've attached one, we take off the second piece. Get your second uh, toilet roll mini, line it up. down and that's your first hinge. Now you might think there's quite a bit of a gap here because I've left a quarter of an inch gusset for the hinge but actually once you start filling your book with embellishments you do need that little bit of a gap and as you saw from my finished article it does all sit nicely at the end of the day. So now we'll go ahead and fix some more of these. open up that edge and then for this next one we're going to take off the other side of the cardstock and the other side of this cardstock it does look a bit fiddly but at the end it does sit beautifully and it makes a, a nice mini album with something that you would normally throw away. So in there I've taken that other double sided one off and I'm going to slide this in. Both of these are off this side and that side and this is where you just have to be a bit patient and a bit careful and try and push them together. There you go and that's your second one. Now we do the same thing again. sides off. Just fold open your toilet roll mini, push them in place and stick that down. Right, so now we've joined three together like that. So this is what you should be looking like now. So I'm going to now join the last one, but I'm only taking the tape from the inside so we can fit a cover on. So I only take it from that inside, so open it up, match it all up levelling, move that along there. So that's your four, your four pages there. Okay, don't look anything yet, but once we've decorated everything, now I've got one tab on the side here. This is how we're going to join our outside cover, and then that will also give us a thick gusset on that side for embellishments. Now I've got one missing on this side here, so we need to do the same thing again with the measuring and make one more strip. Now these toilet roll minis you can make with as many pages as you like really. You haven't got to stick to the four pages that I've done. So the choice is yours and as you get a bit more confident with it, you will uh, find you can make them as small or as big as you like. And they're quite a nice little keepsake or to give away with a few photographs in as a gift if um, we've had someone to stay or just a little thank you. They're quite a nice um, little way of displaying a few photographs or a few sentiments just to say thank you. So we'll just make the fifth one here. Once you've done these a few times, it seems very fiddly to start with, but um, it soon comes together and uh, You'll get used to doing the binding and uh, you'll use it in a lot of your projects, I'm sure. 
so I just measure this one up with some sticky on my finger there so I just measure this up and the others do the little tabs the same Strip off, just check if it's stripping taking off. I need to take this one off. Let's get it in there so it's level. if you see taken the strip off there so that's the next thing I've got to do so I've got to sneakily don't worry if this happens to you as well just get your craft knife in in fact I'm quite fortunate this hasn't stuck very well so I can actually take it out and redo it so but normally you can just pop your craft knife in and that's the sort of thing we're going to have to do when we do the outside cover this last one so in we go again making sure we give it a bit of jiggle to get it right and level push it together there we go so that's our four pages so they've now got a nice binding on them with the gussets so we can load them up with embellishments. The next thing we're going to do is to make the covers. And I think for the covers on mine, in this kit we get some nice um, yellow, the whitewash uh, cardstock in here. And I think I'm going to use this for my uh, covers on here. So what we need to do is to make a few measurements. So we've got to make tags yet to stick out of our book. If you look on here, we've got to make the tags yet. Now, these were bought tags, but you have enough cardstock in the kit to actually cut your tags out of a Cricut machine. Or if you haven't got a Cricut machine, you can make a template using a tag itself to draw around and cut four tags out to go into your book. So whatever you have available, you can do that. So we're going to make the covers. Now I made my covers so you didn't sort of see the tags from the outside. So I've actually made them. Let me have a quick measurement here. I've made them an inch and um, about an inch and a quarter, actually longer than the toilet rolls themselves. So I think we'll go for about an inch because then we can always trim it back down. So we need to make them five inches. Now I've made mine cover the actual, the width the same, so it stands up like a little book. So we have the extra on the length, but the width will have the same. So these toilet rolls are two and three quarters. So I need to cut out four covers measuring two and three quarters by five inches. So we'll just go ahead and mark these. I find it's quite easy to mark them on the score pal. So if we go along to five. And then we need two and three quarters. So one at two and three quarters and then so the next one's going to be one two a quarter in there that's five and a half one two and three quarters 
quarters. That's three quarters. One, two. That can't be right. That's one, two, three quarters. One, two. And then we're going to cut those. Okay. So we get a trimmer again. those down. Put that aside because we'll use that at a later stage. Now as I say I'm using the whole kit for this. Well I won't use the whole kit because obviously with the rest of the kit I'll make a layout. But you can purchase a kit just to make this uh, toilet roll mini if you really want to embellish it well and cover it or you can use the kit to do your layouts and then use the rest of the kit to make your toilet roll mini. The choice is entirely yours, I mean it's a, it's a good way of using up scraps from your kit or if you're anything like me when I get a kit I like to do as many pages as possible out of one kit so I don't tend to have a lot left when I done on my kits. Right that's our four bits for the covers and the way we're going to attach these is we stick one piece of the double sided that way and one piece of the double sided that way. Now looking at my cutting I think I need to get a new blade in my trimmer and then by doing it double, double cardstock, it gives you a bit more of a sturdy front and back cover but you're still using all the elements actually out of the kit. So I'll just give these a quick trim and then we'll attach our front and back covers then I'll show you how we do this final cover on our spine. Pieces for your cover now cut. I mean I've used the white wash um, with the yellow background so I just need to decide which way around I'm going to put this. I think I'm going to have the yellow cover actually showing to make it a bit brighter for the for the springtime. Now you have these two little wing ends. These are going to help attach your cover to start with. So what we're going to do is to take the double sided tape off that we already had put on these. Take that off and then Measure it out so it fits on there nicely. And push that down. So that's one half. And then on the other half here, we take off the extra piece of double sided on here and we do the same. Now, obviously, I'm wanting to put these cover to cover, so we now need to put some adhesive or glue on here. I'm just going to use some wet glue on this instance. So I'm just going to put some wet glue around here. Put that down, just put the top of my glue. I've made a bit of a mess there. lay this flat and that's another beauty of this hinge system you can do this type of thing with it oh we the yellow showing aren't we nearly made a muck up there so we attach that to the tape and then measure it up along there so I'm going to just use my bone folder and give that a nice burnish bit of glue leaking out there so we'll just wipe that off. So that's the one cover. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. We can take one piece of the double sided off. Fix 
stuff that onto there. Oh, I didn't stick very well, did I? Do that again. Let's fix that onto there. Flip it over. piece off. Oh, do the glue. Get the middle. with your burn folder. So that's your two covers. So now we need to do our outer cover and for this I'm going to use the same whitewashed paper or cardstock I think but I'm going to use it on the reverse to show the white. So what I need to do for that now is we know it's two and three quarters high and we know roughly we're looking at probably, I would say about an inch, so we're looking at an inch and a quarter for the spine bit here. Now I like the coverage to come over quite a way, to give me a bit of lee room really. So if we go two inches each side and one and a quarter, so that's five and a quarter inches by um, two and three quarters. So we'll just score that up. to be two and three quarters. And just get that cut. Right, we've cut the, the piece we're going to use for the outer spine. But before I attach this, we've got all the, the craft card showing here. Now personally what I like to do is I just like to edge that in the white just because I think it gives a nicer look to the end of the book. So if you just want to go ahead and edge all your spine bits. Another beauty of having the binding system like this is you can fold it right back and really get in with your distress ink or distress paint to do that. So just put some paint on there just to finish those edges off. Sorry, last one. There we go. Now another thing I did do on my other mini is because down when you've got the book open, I don't know whether you can see that, that you can see in the top of the the spine there. And there again is another little finishing touch. Purely out of personal preference. I just like to put a bit of the paint that matches down the spine. I just think it gives it a more professional feel. You know, if you're doing a toilet roll mini with a craft effect to it, you haven't got to do this at all if you're using craft card as your extra card. But as we're not on this case, I've gone ahead and painted those edges. Now we're going to have the white, I think, shown on the outside. And because this is nice double-sided card on the inside, I'm not going to put any paint on the inside. If I was using a plain craft card on the outside, there again, I would get my paint and just edge the top and the bottom because I think it just gives it a bit of a professional look to it. Okay, now what we need to do now is to go ahead and just measure the width of our spine and do some score lines so we get it all nicely leveled up. I think we measured that as one and three quarter, one and a quarter. So we go to the score pal again. 
Now this is five and a quarter, so we came in two from each end, didn't we? So we put a score line at two and then at three and a quarter. And I tend just to score on the other side as well, just to help so it doesn't actually crack there. Okay. That's got stuck. And there again with your bone folder, just burnish those. Okay, and then that makes the outer spine cover that we're going to attach on the outside. Now before I do attach that, what I am going to do is to put some paper on the outside and I think in this instant I might just put a tear down the side of that just to give it a bit more interest. So I think what I'm going to do is to just tear down the sides. I'm not going to distress it up too much for this album but it just gives it a bit more interest on there so I'm going to do the same on the back as well and obviously because we cut an extra, that extra bit of width on there it gives us the extra play that you can do different effects like this you know you don't have to have it as long across there if you don't want it's all down to personal preference so I want to put some pattern paper on here but obviously I don't need to go all the way along so we just have a little measure up I think if I go four by two and a half that would be a nice effect on there so let's have a look at our pattern paper I mean that's very beautiful but I think that's far too big to put on a uh, outside cover which is a bit of a shame because that would be quite nice on the outside cover I wonder if I could jiggle it slightly I wouldn't get the butterfly on I don't think I might do I might just try and jiggle that because that would be quite nice on the outside cover so let's just line that up and I'll make a little mark Actually, if I move the paper from underneath, I can even cut over my craft knife. I want to be really lazy. And then we go down the side as well. Let's have a look and see if that will work so I get the scissors. Just cut the border strip off there. When it comes to embellishing it, it's entirely up to you. Obviously, it depends what sort of look you want to your album or what the album's all about. Let's see if we can try and fit this on with our outside cover. It's not going to quite fit still. So I might just have to take a little bit more off there. I think this would go down quite nicely because I'd like to use this as an album for my niece's uh, first birthday. So I'm going to trim a little bit more off there. And I might have to take a little bit more off that piece. These are the finishing touches to an album that I quite enjoy doing, but I just wanted to do this front and back cover with you just so you see how the book comes together. And then I thought at the end we can then have a look, once I've embellished it all with the photographs, we can then have a look. Right, so I need to tear a little bit more off this one. Just get the I absolutely adore you on there then, don't you? 
just about, I might just take a little taddy more off. I can either leave a thicker piece on or I can actually trim that down to a similar size. I think I'm going to trim this one down to a similar size and then I'm just going to use some of the plain aqua colour on the back. Let's tidy all this mess away. So if I cut up another piece similar to this size put on the back there we go so that can be for the back and the front so we can attach those first and then we can attach our spine so we do that bit together first And I'm ready to attach the, the front and back covers here. I've got some distress stain here in the wild honey purely because I don't like white edges on things. It's personal preference, but obviously you can ink your edges on whatever colour cardstock you've got. I don't have to worry too much about that one because that's going in there. Do the same with this one. I'm not doing a big distressed look on this um, little toilet roll mini um, because it's for a little girl's first birthday so I'm not going for the big grungy steampunk effect on here. So now we can go ahead and assemble our front and back covers. So I'm going to use some wet glue on here. So attach some wet glue onto here. Then we can attach that. So position that on there. And then we can slide that round that way. And the same on here. a bit more slide time with the, this new wet glue that's out and it's proven to be very good. Right so now we can go ahead and attach the outside cover of our book. Now what I tend to do with this, I wouldn't use wet glue at this stage, I would use the, um, the double sided tape for this. I have got some very thick double sided tape which I purchased which comes in very handy for occasions like this so I think I'm going to use this at this time so I've got a piece on there do is where I've got that area left I can just put a bit of wet glue on there. So I think we're ready to go ahead just make a, another double check to see if it fits and I'm happy with the way around that I've got it and I can see the words. So we'll start with the front. So we'll take the double sided tape off this one that bit over there that's showing and I might just put a little bit of wet glue just down the side here on the distressed side and we're going to line it up where we've got the, the crease and if you can 
carefully just lay it down like that and give it a good old burnish with your fingers and your bone folder that's the front part so now you've got it looking like that at that stage that's now going to wrap round and we'll do the same on the back so take the tape off wet glue on the torn edge. Now this time I've got to be careful and attach it just to the right point. And there we go. There we go. Lay it back down on your desk. Give it a burnish. And there's the spine on your book. So it just gives it a nice neat finish. Now you could go ahead and ink the edges if you wish, but with this nice white whitewash cardstock, you do get a natural distressed burnished edge to it anyway, so I'm probably not going to bother on this one. So that's how you create the spine of your book. So that's your basic book. And it's just now ready for you to cut and cover and embellish all your parts. Now the tags, you can buy tags, well, what I have done is I've actually cut tags out on the Cricut machine. So I've cut my tags out to go into here, so they fit in nicely. So they fit in with a bit hanging out and I shall add some of my twine to that. And then you don't see them when you've got the book stood up right. Now cut those out on... Um, Georgian basic shapes and I used let's just have a look here and show you it was the the tag K and I used the shadow to cut out and I cut those out at four inches so if you have got a Cricut machine with the, the cartridge that's an easy way to cut your four tags out but as I said before you can cut them out by hand anyway if you wanted to cut them out by hand, the easiest way I know to do it is to actually measure your toilet rolls, cut yourself a couple of log on blongs, and then just shape the ends like a basic tag, like, like on this one, and use either a crocodile or a hole punch to make your holes. So the choice is yours, you can make your tags in a few different ways there. I cut mine out on the Cricut machine. They fit perfectly in there, a four inch cut. So now I've got to go ahead and decorate the rest of the pages of my um, toilet roll mini, decorate my tags, and uh, there it's ready to go as a gift. So that's how to make your toilet roll mini. So please feel free and have a go. You can use the kit purchase from scrapbookingkitsaras.co.uk or a kit you've got at home. But do have a look on the website because there's lots of lovely kits that you can use. So you can use them to do a layout and then use all your bits that are left over to make yourself a lovely toilet roll mini as a gift. I will say goodbye for now. Once I've finished doing all the embellishments for this toilet roll mini, I'll do you another quick video to, to walk you through how I've done all the embellishments. But do have a go at my version on a toilet roll mini. This is the um, single toilet roll mini that we've made. It's now all complete. Um, we did in the class, we did finish off the front and back cover. But I've gone ahead now and finished all the insides. So I thought I'd show you what I've done. Um, on the inside here I've made a little slip pocket. Just with some of the pattern paper that I had left. And put some of the twine from the kit round it as well just to finish it off um, i've added some photographs in here this is going to be for my niece's first birthday and i've cut out some of the little elements from the paper collection i've um, put some of the tags in i've put photos that pop behind so you can take them out and put some journaling on the back so i've uh, cut pieces of the paper collection out there and also on the back of that as well just with some little accents on them 
so and here where I've um, slotted pictures underneath I haven't actually stuck the pictures on top of there I made a little pocket here so that's got one picture behind but actually it would take two or I could put a little journal in slot behind there and then I've cut the the shape out here and then raised this top piece on um, some foamed pads just to give it a little bit more of a different dimension this tag I've done differently again put a little bar across the bottom there and then followed it through on the other side as well the next page there again I put photos under the flap on both sides of that and then on the tag there I followed the through with the same theme on that one this side I've done a double um, element here double layered element just to give it another bit more interest and the same here and then I've made another pocket so there's one picture behind here but actually you could slot two pictures behind there and the last tag there I've just made some little photo corners and elements on the the tag there so that was that last one and then on the back page there again I haven't stuck the elements actually on the photographs just over the top of them and put some more of the twine just to make a little bit more of an element there so that's my finished um, mini toilet roll mini I hope you've enjoyed making it I, I like it because I think it's a bit different to most toilet roll minis that are done with just a ring on the outside this is a proper hinge system so you can go through and actually look at the pages individually and also it's a bit more of a, a book and also it makes a, a beautiful gift so I hope you enjoy making yours and that's my finished one that I made with the kit from Scrapbooking Kits Us.